Hi, uh, just a sneak peek at the new uh, unreleased Siglent SDS R 1202XE series. It's not available in the 1102, only comes in 200 uh, meg. And uh, a lot of people have asked about the serial decode in, in this thing. So I'll just give you a little uh, sneak peek here. Now I've actually, um, the great thing about this scope is that serial decoding is free. It is no optional extra, no hacking required. You get I squared C, SPI, UART, CAN, and LIN. I'm only going to play around with the uh, UART here right now. There's uh, two different uh, decoders, uh, one and two. I believe it's uh, similar to the previous uh, series signals. It's just included uh, free. And of course, you can set up the uh, signals, but Unfortunately, unlike the Keysight 1000X series, you cannot use this third channel here. Uh, so it's not, you know, two plus one channels or two and a half channels. Um, even for the SPI, for example, if you go in here into the SPI, so you chose an SPI, uh, you know, clock, clock can only be channel one or channel two, right? MISO, channel one, channel two. So you've only got the ability to do the, uh, of course, a chip select, of course, you can uh, actually choose the uh, a clock timeout here, so you don't actually need the third channel for the chip select. So that's, yeah, you know, th that's good, right? So you can still use it as a rudimentary SPI uh, analyzer, but yeah, you do not get that third channel, and no, you cannot display the external trigger like you can on the new Keysight 1000X series, um, which is better in that regard. So if we actually go back to UART here, I've actually got a, I'm feeding in a one meg, uh, one meg bit signal. Here it is. So I've got custom board rates. So there are all the board rates. I've got custom here. Now, ordinarily, I, it took me a little bit to figure this out. Um, but like, there's the velocity control on this thing is not the best, right? So um, it'll take you forever if you started from 100,000 and had to go up. The only way I was actually able to get to that is you actually press it like that. And the good thing is, is that it actually does come up with a keyboard here. It's not touch screen, but it's, you know, it, it works reasonably well. So you can just go 1M, whoop, 1M like that, a uh, little bit fiddly, but then it jumps to one meg. So, you know, that's all right. It's usable. Now, um, so it can at least do speeds up to one meg. I don't readily have anything available faster, I don't think. But anyway, so it can actually do up to one uh, meg, eight data bits, um, odd parity, uh, two stop bits. And that's it. That is correct. That's what it's supposed to display, um, asterisk uh, IDN. Um, so that's all hunky-dory. Uh, but well, there's one good thing about this is that they claim it does serial decoding on the entire memory depth, which is 14 meg, and that uh, comes standard with the scope. But uh, unfortunately, it seems to be a bit slow. I'm in normal uh, mode at the moment. Here we go. I'm in normal mode, um, and it's of course displaying that IDN. And uh, but. Oh, and of course, it'll do it in single shot. You know, everything's hunky-dory, right? Um, yeah, so we can, like, single shot like that and then go in. No no problems whatsoever, right? So it's okay. You know, it's doing the business. It's not the most detailed um, display I've seen. I don't think you can expand it. I don't think you can actually make it bigger. So it's a little bit, you know, squinty to actually read the font on there. But uh, anyway... Uh, normal mode, you know, it's doing the business, but look at what happens when you go into auto mode. It's there, right? So you're seeing the waveform, but it's not, well, you saw it. It'll occasionally pop up like that. So it, they claim to have real-time decoding in the Zinc FPGA hardware in this thing. Uh, well, they claim, I think they claim, uh, I have to double check, uh, hardware decoding, but Look, I mean, you know, you're seeing it on the screen. Obviously, it's not triggering uh, properly because we haven't set off, you know, the whole time or whatever um, for this thing to to be able to trigger in auto mode. But you're seeing the waveform, and it's not it's not decoding that. Just very occasionally will it actually pop up and do that. But of course, if you put it in normal mode with the correct trigger, but you see, it actually took like a second or something to actually decode that. Look, one, one. it takes like a second. So obviously it's got to read the entire 14 meg memory and that's great, but that takes time. So if you're after real time serial decoder, it's probably not gonna 
do the business. So at the moment, I've only just started playing around with this. I've only uh, tried the UART uh, one, but yeah, it's, you know, it's, and of course you can choose the different um, uh, formats there and you can get a uh, list as well. There you go. You can pop up with a list for you list uh, fanboys there, but yeah, it's there's good points and there's bad points. I mean, this is a real budget uh, scope, but at least it can do one meg uh, UART serial. It does decode on the full memory, but yeah, not real time. Few little user interface. Um, you know, it it it's not the most detailed, but it doesn't support the external channel, which is a real bummer. But eh, it's free, so beauty. Anyway, hope you found that useful. Catch you next time.